So do you ever have a moment where you just want to open up your quest and play a sick Steam VR game without having to attach cables or launch the Meta Quest Link application and all that kind of stuff. So whether that's a flat game or a VR game, directly from your Steam library. So Steam Link is going to give you a easy yet ingenious way in order to do that. And all directly from your MetaQuest apps library. And at the end, I'm going to show you how to do this. So stick around. Oh, I miss you, baby. Okay. Straight from your apps library, guys. This is just insane. Here's Steam Link. I press on it now this is my PC it is updated now you can also play with a gamepad controller so for playing non VR games you can add another computer if you want this app is insane so let's connect to my PC I'm sitting right now so yeah I guess that's good here we are we are in Steam VR just like that, all standalone. You don't need any cables. It's already here, launched and ready to go. You can even access your computer if you want and uh, do some things right here. So it's kind of a uh, virtual desktop at the same time. So let's fire up a game. Let me just recenter myself. Guys, there we go. You can also adjust the resolution settings and graphic settings all from steam vr itself but for now i'll just leave it where it is and let's go with a uh, let's go with a uh, new game for now i see that my lens is fogging a little bit might have to try my new facial interface this is a new facial interface from amvr that i want to show you right now And here we go guys, installed. That's how it looks. Oh, that's, that's snug, okay. I'm really close to the lenses. I feels as if I've, I'm gonna get more FOV out of this. Hold on, oh, I need my controllers. Oh, wow, it's really black. I cannot see anything. It's, it's like pure screen. Oh, okay. Let me get my controllers. The FOV is actually much better with this. It's because you're so much closer to the lenses. Oh my gosh. How does it feel though? Oh, dizzy. Okay. Woo. A couple days in the future, I've tried out the facial interface. A couple pointers that I want to give you before you buy it for yourself, perhaps. So it has air vents inside of the interface on the sides and on the top, which comes out on the uh, sides uh, outside of the interface, which will prevent your lenses from fogging up. So if you play cardio heavy games, sporty games and stuff like that, boxing or Beat Saber, it will actually help prevent the lenses from fogging up. I also have put on the other uh, cushiony kind of pads on the uh, on the uh, interface the, uh, what i can recommend is when you put on this one it's more for playing relaxed games you know chill games where you don't have to sweat as much uh, when you want to play sporty games pick the latter one this one right here so you can easily wipe off the sweat when you have when you have sweated a lot so it's also really easily and interchangeable it has velcro so let me show you it just goes like this there you go, that one is off. And the way I put this on, I just bend it like this, and then I just put it somewhere in the middle like that. There we go. And then I just align the, uh, the parts, mostly like the ends, because that's important, and the rest will go and fit its place. And just, you know, press around until it's all on there. And there you go, now you have the leathery one on. The interface itself, 
it, it, my face kind of like pushes in a bit more than the regular one, the, the, the standard one from the Quest, which in turn increases the FOV because my eyes are closer to the lenses itself. So you kind of get a couple of points in FOV out of this. It's not a game changer difference or something like that, but I have noticed that it does, uh, your eyes get a bit closer to the lenses. So bear in mind, it doesn't have the uh, adjustable height for when you have glasses on. So I must say, if you have glasses, it will be kind of hard if you have those uh, lenses, prescription lenses for on the uh, Quest itself that you can get away with it. But I don't have any glasses. And for people that don't have glasses, that uh, this will work perfectly and the the leathery strap itself for easy cleaning yeah i like it thank you vr for sponsoring this and sending this out uh, to me in order to try it and uh, show it to you guys and if you want to buy this interface i have a link in the description below which will give you a 10 percent discount and will also help support the channel so i can review even more products for you guys uh, before you buy it so yeah, it's a win-win again. Yeah, let's get on with the video. Wow. And everything is so smooth. It's so snappy. It's so smooth. It's actually insane that you can just straight up do this. Chopping a tree right here. Chopping the tree. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, tree is falling. Not on my head. There we go. Grab some uh, logs. This is insane. This is what I love about the Meta Quest. You can play graphically amazing games standalone directly from your apps library, just like that. Now I haven't tested out if you can play this also outside of your local network, like I did with virtual desktop. So it works guys, you can see everything is snappy. I can do anything I want and oh my God gosh and it's still so snappy oh I... let's try out another game Ooh, where am i this is new smoothness in okay this is this is smooth let me see what are the settings at okay it's just 100 percent. that's good what are my settings here options displaying graphics Oh, okay. Everything is on Ultra. Oh, nice. This is new. They had an update. What is this? Starship Fabricator. Okay. Oh, we got some really cool stuff. Let me just uh, take my uh, pink ship. Let's do some space traveling. Woo. Oh. Dear loud. That looks cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, thought I was going to run into that. Oh my goodness. What was that about? What is this moon about? Let me see. It's a, slow down a bit, I guess. Oh gosh. Hey, slow down, please. Please. <laughs> Okay, you know what guys? A flat screen game now. I want to show you how that is. Let's do pulls. And then the screen will show up and you got this nice tiled floor with reflections of the screen. Really neat uh, feature. This works wonderful guys. This actually works wonderful. This is standalone. Can you imagine? This is just standalone gaming. And you can play any non-VR app like this. Can't wait till this game also has a VR mode. I mean, that works. Look at this tiling on the, it looks so realistic. So yeah, guys, you get, you get the gist of this. I mean, it works. Okay, guys, now for the installation of Steam Link. So it's very easy. Let's go back into the Quest 3 again. It's very simple, guys. Hello. We just go over to the store. And we search up for Steam Link. There it is. Click the button and download Steam Link. I already have it, so I don't have to download it. But for you, you can download it right here. And the procedure after that is very simple. You, it will generate a pairing code in your headset that you will have to enter on your computer enter the code and your headset will link up with your computer and that's pretty much it 
then you have Steam Link. And if you're more on the productive side of things, I have made a video where I showcase how to set up virtual desktop with three monitors, even if you only have a singular physical monitor at home. So check it out right here in this video.